Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering standard library functions in C. And also I will explain passing arrays to functions. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. Let's get started. At first, I will explain standard library functions in C. Standard library functions are built-in functions that are present in header files. For example, if you consider printf, scanf, this printf and scanf are built-in functions because meaning of printf and scanf is present in stdao.h header file. So we call it as built-in functions. And we include header files in our program by using hash include. For example, hash include stdao.h. This stdao.h is standard input output header file. These are some of the header files. First one is stdao.h, where stdio stands for standard input output dot header file. All input and output functions are present in stdio.h. For example, printf, scanf, so on. And next one is conio.h, where conio stands for console input output header file. And next one is string.h. All string functions are present in string.h header file. And next one is std lib.h where std lib stands for standard library next one is math.h all mathematical functions are present in math.h header file and next one is time.h time and as well as clock related functions are present in time.h header file guys these are the various functions that header files contains first one is stdo.h this header file contains functions such as printf scanf get c put c and get s and put s where get c stands for get character put c stands for put character and similarly get s stands for get string and put is stands for put string standard library dot h header file contains these functions and next conio dot h contains functions such as clrscr get ch so on and next c type dot h contains functions such as is alpha is digit is lower is upper two lower and two upper functions and math dot h header file contains mathematical functions such as sqrt function where sqrt stands for square root function and pow that means power function so on and string.h header file contains string handling functions such as strlen where strlen stands for string length strlwr strupr strrev that means string lower string upper and string reverse and strcpy that is string copy function and so on and process.h header file contains process and thread functions fopen and fclose are file functions and mlock CLOC and realloc free. All these are dynamic memory allocation functions. Guys, whenever standard library function question comes in exam, then you need to write all this. Next, I will explain passing arrays to function. As we know, if you want to store multiple values in single variable, then you need to use arrays. Example a of 5 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Whenever you give size as 5, that means you can store 5 values in a single variable. This is use of arrays. If you want to pass array as parameter to a function, then there are three ways. This is first way here I written void fun. Here I given my function name as fun. Inside this I written int pointer array name. This is first way if you want to pass array as arguments to a function. And this is second way here I written void. I given function name as fun. Inside this I written int array name and I given size as 10. And this is third way. Here I written void fun where fun is function name. Inside this function I written int array name. I open square bracket and then I close the square bracket. And I did not given any size inside this. This is third way. I will Give an example. This is an example to pass array as argument to a function. Here I took void main. Inside void main, I written int a. I open square bracket and then I close the square bracket. I did not give any size. After that, I written is equal to inside curly brackets. I written 10, 20, 30, 40. I am giving four values 10, 20, 30, and 40. Now I am creating function. Let function name be fun. Inside this, you need to write array name. I given array name as a. So I need to write here a. Now I need to write separate code for this. So I took void. I given function name as fun. So I written here void fun. Inside this, I written array. I given array name as a and data type is int. So here you need to write int a. I want to print all four values. All these are integers. So I written here printf percentage d percentage d percentage d percentage d comma a of 0 this percentage d is for a of 0 1 a of 1 a of 2 and a of 3 that mean value which is present in index number 0 index number 1 index number 2 and index number 3 will be printed as output so i will get output as 10 20 30 40 this is my output this is an example of passing array as argument to a function 